Good evening, everyone. Five o'clock. We'll call the meeting to order. We'll do a uh, introductions. Jerome, if you don't mind starting the introductions. Sure. Uh, I'm Jerome Borchers. I've lived here since the year 2000, and I uh, have four children that went through the schools here. Um, retired from Wright State University after 38 years, so uh, it's been a different life now. I don't think we've ever had anybody when we did introductions who did more than their, their name. <laughs> well, I'm, Teresa, glad, I'm, I'm glad to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said. Well, let's see what Teresa has to say. I'm Teresa Borchers, and I'm married to him. <laughs> okay. And I've been here the whole time. I'm Marilyn Moyer, Township Trustee. Chris Muse with the same. Don Hollister, and I'll, I'll point out that the children have had a significant role in some of the broader issues in the state that we deal with. <coughs> Marcus Zillerman. Fiscal, Fiscal Officer. Officer. <laughs> and the Mayor of Rogan. Lauren Shells, Yellow Springs. Road Administrator. Road Administrator. Thank you. What did you say? Uh, Lauren Shells, Yellow Springs names. Can you say your name again? Yeah, Go Canada. And I wrote Chuck. Chuck is also <laughs> fine. <laughs> right, okay. Um, and um, Zoning Inspector is not here today, no, but we don't see him. Okay, cool. Although, he may pop in at any time. He has done that before. Okay, thank you all for. Coming this evening, we've got a lot to go over, so we're going to plug right along. And we are going to uh, bump Jerome and Teresa like five places or six places because they would be asleep before we got to them. Let's get through a couple of things before we start. Uh, I'd entertain a motion to approve the payment bills for the amount of $72,276.25. Broken down general fund twenty seven thousand two hundred thirteen dollars and ninety one cents. Fire fund thirty nine thousand one hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety seven cents. Cemetery fund four hundred ninety eight dollars and forty eight cents. EMS billing three thousand thirty dollars forty nine cents and road bridge two thousand three hundred seventy three dollars and forty cents. Uh, is there a motion? I so move. Is there a second? I will second that motion. Good. So I need further discussion regarding this motion. Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Hoster? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Correspondence for the period, we received uh, a signed copy of the Grinnell Mill lease between the Glen and uh, Miami Township, which took effect uh, uh, July 1. Um, the chip seal agreement between the county and uh, us for 2022. Um, uh, House Bill 138, Guidance on the Ohio Emergency Medical Service Legislation, OTA's July Virtual Training Schedule, Grass, grass, roots, grass roots Clipping Newsletter, email about the creation of Glen's Forest Cemetery website, which we will talk about, which we will talk about later, email from the Ellis Wings News regarding change in trustee meeting schedule, um, email from Steve Ackley, it was not a change, as I, was, as I noted, that was the, did you get that? Lauren? Yeah, okay. I, I, I'd seen it in the paper. I, I wasn't. I, wasn't. I, wasn't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we were straight. Uh, email from Steve Ackley about his uh, introducing, introducing his replacement tomorrow. Filing notification from the Ohio Secretary of State about the Grinnell Foundation, which I let lapse, but was told by my legal legal that I needed to reinstate it to finish up some things that we were doing. Uh, Thomas 2021 Annual Report, some 2022 Magazine, you'll have to Cemetery Association's Annual Convention, August 1 through 3, Fund Staff, Revenue Staff, Preparation Staff, for 5, 16, 22, and another um, agreement with the county for the, uh, for the overlay that we'll have done um, in a little while, so we will need to have a motion for that, that will not require a resolution. Uh, oh. The email mentioned that if there was a resolution, they wanted a copy of the resolution. Since we did not make a resolution, yeah. we're not going to copy it. Oh, whatever, I, I made a um, resolution on the 27th. I, I know, but I didn't we didn't make a resolution. We put the resolution number on the form. 
Whatever you say. Okay. We'll make it a motion when the time comes. <clears throat> yeah. Any further correspondence? Are we um, to comment on these now? Um, I was wondering, are you guys, yeah, is, sure. is Steve Eckley coming tomorrow? Yeah. Around 11.30 mm -hmm. or something? I, I responded back, but I'd like to meet his replacement. Steve, I've never met him in person. Okay. And then, um, I suppose you're going to tell me what the overlay is, because I, mean, I don't understand. Okay, we will. Okay. I have one late-breaking correspondence. That is from the uh, Department of the Office of Management and Budget for the State of Ohio, saying that we will receive our $64,945.66 on or about July 15th. So that's nice that we got a firm, our firm date. Our firm, yeah. firm date on that. And that's the second crunch. That's the second amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to public comment on agenda item. And by golly, Jerome and Luis, let's look at this. Okay. You're, you guys are up. Now, uh, was there any discussion on how you wanted to present yeah. this evening or? Yeah, I was going to say something. I'm sure that I was going to say something. Okay. And I just want to tell, I've discussed this with Dan and probably nobody else may be done. Um, we have this vision of having a cemetery association that's recognized by the board so that um, the purpose is just to help out and like enhance the management of the grave sites and things because we're finding that every natural cemetery is different and careful by people ob observing like the orchards are out there a lot and I plan to be out there more that um, we could be helpful and useful in making rec recommendations and possibly having work days or but um, and is there no fix? Well, as we get a discussion, we'll see more why we think there's a need for that. And Teresa would, would like to, Teresa would like to tell you a few a lot of positive things going on out there. Yeah, I mean, first of all, when when we experienced the tragedy of our son Martin dying, um, it, it was just such a gift to have the wonderful resource of the natural cemetery and right in our home area. And I and I. We have a lot of gratitude towards the township for providing that. I understand Chris put a lot of work into that, and Dan has put a lot of work. And every single interaction that we've had has been wonderful, but just no problems that way. And I, and I think that that is great. And that's what I've heard from people also. And so, you know, it is, it's just been a beautiful place to go. I think people aren't aware of what a treasure we have in the community. Uh, beautiful blooms of native plants there. Um, these past couple weeks, there's been super blooms, uh, Philadelphia flea bane, just dense, dense black-eyed Susan, dense thickets of milkweed that smell like a perfume bottle mm -hmm. with monarchs and, you know, bees, and you can go out and do birds. It's just, it's it's quite beautiful. There's the, I know that Chris put a lot of thought into ducks. that. Ducks. ducks? I haven't seen the ducks. There's, anyway, so, you know, I, it, it's, it's just a, a wonderful place to go, and, and I think a, a treasure that people in the community aren't, aren't well aware of. Um, one of the things that we notice, though, is that, there's, that it's a real challenge to manage such a site when you have a native, um, I, I, prairie-like setting. Um, just like, I guess, we're seeing in so many settings, there's this constant problem of managing invasive and nuisance plants. I think anybody who's a plant owner or managing parks or any kind of land comes up against this challenge, and it's just you know, a new thing all the time. Um, I think the one that first made us aware of it was seeing um, Canadian thistle. And um, I, it's beautiful, but it takes over. It will kill everything else, and my understanding is that that's actually a nuisance plate plant for the state of Ohio, or certainly our farmers aren't going to want that in their fields, so we have an obligation to manage that kind of plant. Um, I, we saw this past year poisonous hemlock in the township, and we saw a patch of that coming up. And um, then there's other plants that are native plants that I don't know if we want them there or not. They're, they're considered nuisance by some, such as ragweed, which is a nuisance plant for Village of Yellow Springs. I don't see that on the list that I've looked at for the state, but you know, the, so it brings up the questions of 
what kinds of plants do we want there, what does it take to manage them, and it can be really overwhelming. I think that's what people in all kinds of settings are finding, and it's, you know, I, what we found when we talked to Chris and Dan about it, and now Marilyn, is everybody is like, seems really willing to help, but like, you know, what are we supposed to do that's practical? And you know, that people have different parts of knowledge, so I th we'd like to be part of a team um, and, and get some resources to help with that, whether it's information by observing what's going on and uh, finding out what, uh, what people want and um, what's possible. We want to be a resource with that. Jerome, I assume you're on board with Teresa. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything you wanted to add that she is? Well, just the, uh, our personal experience, <clears throat> because we did um, have our son buried there. So, uh, you know, the first year it settles. And I know from having been a farmer that whenever you till the ground, you're going to get the weed seeds to, you know, do their sprouting mm -hmm. that have been under the soil. So. Um, because we were interested in having some native plants on his site, um, when it came time that it had sunk enough, we leveled it, and uh, we happened to have some rubber roofing, and I know that's great for killing seeds because it gets hot underneath. So I cut a piece the size of the grave site, and uh, when it came to planting and trees that were uh, plants, uh, we had a wonderful site to, to be able to just, uh, you know, we had friends help us. Um, so, you can walk out there now and see um, we have nothing but prairie and native plants on there. So, and it's taken a few hours once in a while to do the weeds. And I did find, with Chris's permission, we were able to weed whack the thistles last year mm -hmm. and um, you know it took me three or four hours but you can do a lot to cut the heads off so you don't have the seeding going mm -hmm. on and I think we talked a little bit about you, you could even notice the difference with the weed patches so uh, there are some practical things that I think we can implement that don't have to cost a lot of money um, and ultimately will end up you know uh, you know, eventually the, all the funerals will be completed, all the burials, and we'll end up with a really unique area mm -hmm. for the town. Good. So I'm, glad, I'm glad you appreciate it. Yeah. Um, before we get too deep into the nuts and bolts of things, I, I'd like to um, pull, I guess, the trustees, I think I know Marilyn's point, uh, I'd like to know your, your feelings of whether you think this is a, a viable project to have a a, a, a group established for this purpose? Well, I see it primarily as a work project group mm -hmm. that would do you know, some of the getting rid of invasives. And, and so I see that as a plus. Not, not as, a, as a, an administrative group. When you use the word association, Marilyn, that implied to me uh, a new organization. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we talked about just the committee. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't realize that you said that. Yeah. I think we were thinking... The names don't really matter. It's, it's the function, the intent. Yes, yeah. There's two. I mean, the dream is to get a team of people in the community that are interested, invested in putting hands on the ground. I don't know if we're going to be able to... how many people will commit to that level of involvement. That's what we hope for. Um, I think also important is maybe, um, when I say advisory, it's not telling the township what to do, but help gather information, observations, and recommendations that can be considered, and communication. Have you recruited anyone to spearhead this organization, or are, are either of you intending on taking on that, that job yourself? I, I have been loath to. I have been hesitant to talk to anybody about anything without talking to the people involved first. Yeah, that's, I don't, that's I don't want. I, I don't want to yeah. get the chicken before the egg or the yeah. you know, the whole deal here. Yeah. 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 I'm aware of 
<clears throat> maybe I shouldn't say it in public, but I'm, I'm aware of a family where you know they go every other day to see their uh, loved one's grave, and they tend a little bit around the stone, and likely would do more if they were in collaboration with others. I think it could be a resource for us. So you're in favor of proceeding? With a work group. Mm -hmm. um, well, okay. I see work. Okay. Go, uh, I mean, go ahead. I want to hear your, your vision. Well, I see work group, but also, I mean, we do maintain cemeteries. We maintain the traditional side. We do have an obligation to the, to the, not, the natural burial area. I mean, so there are things that happen out there. So, for example, the model we have now is like, okay, somebody notices something, we feel the responsibility to take that, get rid of that invasive, you know, maybe we, maybe we spray it, because that is allowed, minimal spraying is allowed. And so, if we'd had conversation, like, if we were allowed to open up communication with them, for example, like, yeah, we see that particular plant is about to go to seed, or we see them creeping in the back part, you know, we could give a recommendation on how some of some of what the staff does because we do we do maintenance on our secretaries, right? So not just it's not just a we form a work group and work that's part of it, but also um, communication. So like oh we were wondering what's going to happen. Oh we, we see now that they were sprayed and we can look around and see they're sprayed. We wish we could talk to you ahead of time, kind of thing. Or we spray for dandelions, much to the concern of, of Mr. Hollister, Trustee Hollister, who prefers to keep dandelions. I don't know what he does with them, but he, he likes them. That's the only thing we do to maintain our cemeteries. And we have for that cemetery? No, for, well, no, not, not for the traditional cemetery on the west side of uh, 68. Any mow, any on, on, the, on the, it's not a tree lawn, but it's the area in front of the fence and behind and the street. Just that area gets gets treated for dandelions. On both cemeteries, east and west side. And, and there's regular upkeep mowing and treatment. Right, and yeah. Then, um, okay, but again, before, I don't want to get too yeah. far into the weeds, get it? Yeah, weeds? it's easy okay. to do. So, right. Um, it's easy right. to do. I, I'm looking for a consensus either to move forward or not. It sounds like we have it. Yeah. and and. Is there anything you guys that's coming up for you guys that you'd like to add? Um, I'm looking at this as I think we could work smarter, not harder. I, I, we could actually, I know your fear would probably be the public demanding things be done, but I, I could see it that it's, because if we just, if we don't start observing and thinking about it on one, uh, on one end of the spectrum we could become natural prairie expert specialists, and we can devote ourselves full time to doing that. And that impossible task. That would be wonderful. No, you could have an entire career doing that. And on the other hand, we could enjoy it as over the years it gets further and further into the basis. And somewhere in there is a point where a few moves could keep it kind of, and then things come up like there are people now, um, like, you know, their loved one has just died. They're taking their favorite animals and planting them around there. Mm -hmm. We all kind of, we all kind of feel that that's that's kind of fine, and it's for kind of going through the process. And yeah. we might come and say, you know, this committee would say, of all the people who are coming and meeting with us, yeah, we think that's we think we can let people do that kind of thing. So, so, so it's you, not just I about spray. Did you like to be the the representative from the board onto this committee? Yes. Okay. Uh, hearing that we have a board, I'm sorry. Just, just a quick example of, of, you know, what we did for my son's grave prevented an infestation of invasives, which often you'll find on a new grave. Mm -hmm. So there are some just basic preventative things that, you know, lessens the maintenance as you go. Because most of these plants are annuals, and they just mm -hmm. keep them. so we're not we're not proposing heroic effort. We're, we're proposing a, a 
common sense manager that keeps us in a nice cemetery middle ground. Okay, well that, that, that's fine. And, and uh, again, you don't have to be proposing right now. We're yep. just right. seeing if we want to establish this committee. Right. right. So I'll entertain a motion to establish the committee, with Marilyn being the committee or the board rep representative, and we will not designate Teresa as chief honcho at the moment. She, <laughs> Thank can, you. she can do that on her own. Yeah, I, I think that's what we'll put on a call. <laughs> you three see can who fights, and then if somebody the, there wants to do it. So what? What more precisely would be the wording of a motion? Uh, to establish a natural burial oversight flora and fauna type committee. Or, or work group. Or work group. Or work group. Committee. Be, As, be assuming that advisory. they would do work, we don't know. Yet. We don't know. Advisory? Advisory? <laughs> well, advisory is always work too. I mean, yeah. That's true. Getting more knowledge and learning mm -hmm. um, what works and what doesn't so work. advisory committee. <coughs> is that your motion? I'll, no. I will, or is that I'll make that motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, motion. what was the motion again? <laughs> Whatever Except Chris the said. Natural committee, the natural burial oversight. Natural burial and fauna. cemetery. I'm sorry, what? Natural burial cemetery advisory committee. What she said. Cemetery. Natural Burial Don't Cemetery worry. Advisory. advisory. Don't committee. worry, we promise we're going to sweat down. Okay. Uh, I, I so move. Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? Yes. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding the advisory committee establishment? Hearing none, may we vote please? Uh, Mr. Mixer? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Okay, that has passed. Thank you very much. Jerome, Teresa, um, I have one more thing. and um, Marilyn. One of the things, now that we had, we're, we're official and we could go to somebody and say, this exists, would you like to join us? Would we, we be, can we get the names of families that are, have the loved ones buried there? Why don't mean? we leave that to the okay. committee? Why don't we let the committee yeah. do that research. evolve and decide what they what they need, and then, and then you don't need to come back to to the board, you yeah. know, you would just go to Dan or okay. Margaret or me or whatever. But it doesn't necessarily have to be done in a public setting. Got it. Okay. Well, and I will, off the record, give you a name of somebody who I'm pretty sure will be enthusiastic in helping you. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Whose parents are there. Okay. Well, the camera's Thank rolling, you. so make sure it's off the record. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me. I'll, I'll get it from Don. Thank you. All. Thank okay, you. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. And you're welcome to stay, but we understand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Well, thank you, Marilyn. It's your um, fire department. We know that it's not a fire department report because Colin had to go, but he did go. Oh, he, he did. Oh, that's right. Rossi's fireworks at the Chappelle Emporium. For fireworks on Friday night. Okay, so Cemetery Road. Okay. Since the last meeting, we had three burials. We had ashes in Clifton and ashes in Green Forest and a natural burial today. And then go in yeah. the shower. Uh, yeah, anything that was like that. Steep rain. I talked to Hensley, but I don't have a time frame on it. She's supposed to get back to me. So I don't know if you talked to her no. about this thing. Mm -hmm. She's going to let me know. Okay, that's what I had on my list. Because, pre yeah, well, because of the upcoming meeting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know. So I should go by her before that day. Better time frame. Now, did you notice, and we shared this earlier, but Greta, when she quoted doing the cemetery all themselves, she says an on-site water source must be provided. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now I don't know whether that's for the overlay or for the chip seal that's or for the for the for their for the grinding. reclamation. Yeah. When they grind and they put the use in, they, they water down and so the children need water to put in their tank so they can spread water on what they because don't they turn it and then add potash or something and then wet it and turn it in? Yeah. It helps bind it. But how do they how do they do a, a road out on Harbison 
We they know. do the same thing. Huh? They do the same thing. Well, I don't know where their water source came from. I was going to say, that where did they get the water? They have Cedarville. I don't know. So, In Miami Township? Well, I mean, where they got their water from, I think. Well, do we have to have a truck with a tank? To well, they the have a truck with a tank. Okay. They want to get water for the truck with a tank. So they can they can come here and hook up the hydrant hydrant outside, or they can go in in the bay and fill up. Probably they don't have to have the not at the cemetery. I no. mean, as long as they can get a water source. Mm -hmm. Okay. So All right. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't get stuck. I, I can turn that frost proof. Right. And turn it on. Yeah. It's still leaking. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you on Friday? I you're going to the precon. Oh yeah. Greg will be at the precon. I'm not sure. Oh. She didn't say yes or no. But I wanted a time frame one because of the kind of week. So as soon as she gives me, oh, we're going to be in here next week or two weeks. I don't know. Okay. If the surveyor surveys out the lane in the Oak Grove Cemetery, do you think, and they haven't done the work yet, do you think there's any think chance we could add that? We could add that. Just add the the, the base and and chip steel. Well, they have to take out the topsoil. Yeah. They have to take stuff out, put it down, they have yeah. to build a base. Well, I could talk to her about it. It's a different kind of contract than it's just doing an existing road. It'd be, it's more work than what they're doing yeah. in the yeah. existing. Well, I just didn't know whether well, we I'm, could get a price I'm on sure that. they would give us a price on it. I'll talk to them about it. Okay. All right, just throw that out. Because we're, we're close enough, we're supposed to get this survey this week. Pin. Because if not, I could go in and take the soil out and put two down and make a base. But I'll have to talk to them. I don't know if they can go in and just do that without a prior base. That's what full depth is. Mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. they rebuild what's there. Mm -hmm. and there's nothing there right now. Mm -hmm. I thought full depth meant like starting from scratch. No, no, no. no. When they talk, they, take, they go down to the base of the road, whatever is there. Mm -hmm. and they, that's called full depth because they turn eight. Oh. But it's not fresh topsoil. So yeah. that'll have to be removed. Yeah. The topsoil has to be removed. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. Give me a chat about that. That's the name of the new cemetery, Oak Grove. Pardon? That's, you're talking about the new natural mm -hmm. event cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of water, we have a, um, a, a well to be dug probably in the next four weeks. Uh, in the uh, natural burial cemetery, so and I've asked the village to put a transformer at the end of the power line. Did they already have one today? They, they, I don't know. They put a little something. That's a transformer. That little thing's a transformer. Okay, that's it. It's, a, it's already in the woods by our existing yeah. Oh, I think that. So where's the well going to go? You know where the black pipe comes up? Right there in the corner. Yeah, but that's not a pipe. That's an electric line too. Yeah, but the, yeah, there's that two. black pipe is the water pipe. The other pipe underground is the electric. It's already running for electric. Which I don't know if we're ever had electric. Yeah. Run through the cemetery. Right. Because that pipe run through the cemetery. Yeah. But you know, they, they, they'll bring a pipe over to feed the well. Right. Wire. They'll bring, someone's going to bring a wire. Yeah. Somebody. If it's, it if it's running. It they said they can, pipe, I think. they said they can dig it and then just leave it. And then tie it or put the pump in and do all that later. Yeah, I guess they, they put the pump in and then do all that later when they had electricity. I don't know, I'm not there yet, but I'm hoping to get there. Well, they're doing well, I mean, they have to, you know, to put yeah. everything in to hook the pump to, the lower, you know, yeah. the wires. And, yeah. But do they have to, I mean, obviously they have to test it, but do they have to, they have to run it for an hour or two? Or? All of them. Six. They'll run it. They'll, they'll have a pump in it and run the well to see what kind of water we're getting out of it. Why don't they have a generator with their I don't know. with their truck? I mean, how do they go, out, do, 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 do they go out in the middle of some cornfield? And well, they must, but who's doing the well? Uh, I'm surprised I'm going to brothers. Did you get Bro? that? <laughs> yeah. Sure, I got it. Well, I'm sure the village can get us power from that. You know, the, the, over so they could use it. They're well, if, it, if that's a real transformer, uh, I guess they could. It's a real transformer. Could. Yeah. It's already powered up from the pole. What did they, why, why did they do that? I thought you had them. 
Why did they put a parking lot back on their, on their farm field next to us? You're supposed to know this, but I am totally Lauren, do you know why they put a parking lot? <laughs> no, but I'll see what I can find in the archives. <laughs> that is, the parking lot is on the so-called Sutton Farm. Yes, sir. Maybe related to some people's dream of a solar array on the conservation land. Similarly, I'm not sure why there'd be a parking lot on the conservation land. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what did you say, Will was going to be doing a weeks? In, yeah, in a, within a month, I believe, he said. Is this our first well in cemeteries? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's for, probably for the purposes of nurturing young oak trees? Yeah, it will be for that purpose. And for the general irrigation water and necessary. We have to get water. We have a, we have a source of water in the old cemetery which is village water, it's not from a well, okay. which, we hooked up, we, which we are hooked up to and we do pay, it's metered, uh, but there's a crack in the line somewhere downstream and so when you turn it on it leaks underground. And it's, it's in the line it's from the frost proof to our valve, it's mm -hmm. not in our thing, it's between the two. Mm -hmm. When you shut that down, the water could leak, so mm -hmm. it's ahead of our valve, but it's ours to fix. Yeah, which we need to do sometime. So, uh, okay, we're back. We're going to go. We're going to go back to last week's discussion, which Marilyn wasn't here. Um, I guess I'll just re review. Is this a cemetery? Yes, a cemetery. Cemetery. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is the twenty-sixth, right? We twenty-sixth. I not here either. Twenty-six. As you recall, we built a pad to put the new columbarium mm -hmm. on, the columbarium garden as it were. Mm -hmm. um, there are two columbariums on that pad right now. Mm -hmm. It is my opinion that the columbarium looks off balance. There are two columbariums here, and then there's a whole other half of the columbarium garden that just is sitting there doing nothing. In my opinion, it needs a third columbarium to, to balance that off. The columbarium manufacturer, who we waited a year for the last time, let me know that they have enough stone to make a third column bearing for us, mm -hmm. and it would match the other two exactly the way they are now. Mm -hmm. I'm in favor of doing that for, for those two reasons, and a third reason, and that is, if you look at the column bearings sitting there, the faces of them, when the, when the public comes in, there's, there's one face that the public sees first, mm -hmm. the, the first column bearing in line. And then there's a back side to that the public does not see. Mm -hmm. Then there's the, the face of the other columbarium next to it that the public kind of sees, but not so much. And then there's the back to that one, which is closer to the shed and those are provided trees, which the public does not see too much. In cemetery worlds, location, 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 if you're interested in buying a niche for your loved one to be in, earn, interned, their ashes to be interned for eternity, people pr prefer to have their niche straightforward, right in front of the public, the first thing you would see as you come to the column there. Right. And what cemeteries tend to do is charge more for those locations. Mm -hmm. So, even on the fronts and the backs, if you want to get technical about it, cemeteries will charge more. It, you know, there are, there are five different lines of niches. The lines at the bottom are generally charge less for those than the ones that are eye level or the ones on top. And that would be the case whether they're in the very front or in the front or the back of that particular column bearing. Which leads us to another discussion we need to have 
and I'd like to have it tonight, or at least to get it started, is what do we want to charge for these? But before we get to that, I want to get, because Don asked that we wait until tonight and that you would be here before we made the decision to buy the third column barium. Because we can't set a price on that front facing column barium because there may be another one in front of it. If we decide to get another one, there may be another one in front of it. So then it is not the premier spot. It is and now. Supply chain issues may make it so it doesn't end right for another year. No, no it's, it's actually day. here. I mean, the, the material is here. Okay. It would be available, he said, within four weeks. Oh. So anyway, we need to make two decisions. One, on getting this other column here, and two, what are we going to, you know, is that going to change the price we charge for, you know, these niches on the, on the back two versus the front one, which I think it, it, it is what we need to do because that's what the, the industry does. Mm -hmm. But we have to get to a we have to get to the decision about the third one before we set the price on the first one that doesn't exist yet. Okay, I, I followed that. Um, well said. I I assume humanity is going to continue into future generations. You think? We hope. Not a good most on good days. I do. Um, Unless Mr. Putin decides. Oh, never mind. We're right, there's there are there many there are many <laughs> threats. Um, and so. We need the capacity eventually. And what, what made you think get the columbary in the first place? Just because people were asking for places for urns and this kind of a thing they do. That is one of the things that is a, a new trend in uh -huh. in, in burials is columbary. In some ways, it's more accessible. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. some kinds of people, you know. Yeah. I like to see it right there. Yeah. It's so, less it's, quote wasteful of ground because yeah. you're not buying a, a complete. You know, and burial. we, my memory is that we have the reserve and the, and the cemetery has the money. Yeah. So I really regret, I, I was so excited when I saw your picture, I really regret that I haven't made it out there yet. But if it, it helps, I'm real all about the visual, if it helps balance the visuals, I'm all for that. Daniel? Oh, yeah. I, I might actually. Third one. He's all for it. Yeah. She yeah, so I, I believe. She got the picture. I, I mean, believe. I sent the picture. Oh, she um, just had it in there. She said, mm -hmm. "Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got the picture, I'm, but I now my phone is going to start making noise. I didn't feel the space, <laughs> but I, I believe you that it needs to be balanced out, and I, and I, I have faith that humanity will continue. And if it doesn't, and, we don't. And you said it. about thirteen thousand. Uh, no, it's eighteen, eighteen eight now. Eighteen eight. The price went up. So we paid sixteen eight for the two, and that was. Well, and maybe that was my like mind basically. took the 18 and turned it into 13. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying as long as we're going into the columbarium phase of our cemetery, let's, let's do it. So okay. that answers that question. Well, yeah, then I move that we authorize the uh, purchase of a third columbarium. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Reacher? Yes. Mrs. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Now, what? we've been talking about death. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a lot of it. we got a lot of talking yet to do. We have it now that we've now that we've committed to the equipment that's going to be there. What are we going to charge for these? And I have niches. No skills or knowledge of this the funeral industry. Yeah, I, I would like <clears throat> why don't you write a half page summary of that and bring it to us and then we'll talk about it. Why don't you write a half page summary? <laughs> I mean I wouldn't know what oh, you're right. like. Okay, so, I'll do that. So a burial plot in the traditional cemetery is around six hundred. The burial plot in the natural area is about twelve hundred. Fifty. I, I mean, so, so we're, we're more than double. I, I don't want to with vote on the prices right now. I, okay. And I don't see this as a work session. Yeah, okay. I, I'd okay, be but happy. I want to get to a work session. I want to get to this movement of, of getting getting there. Okay. Have you checked other column barriers? Yeah. yeah. They're charging? Yeah. Or what are we Why don't you write up something or, or tell me to write something up? Roughly 450 to 6. 
depending upon this, where you are in the. Oh, okay, so you have to. So the visual one you're talking about would be top end 600, mm -hmm. and the other is 500. Yeah, it depends on how you how picky you want to be about breaking down the, the yeah. lines. Yeah. I mean, you can either do it in twos That's or threes. Or I, I mean, for, for my purposes, you know, mm -hmm. top of two like, No, big time cemeteries, prices, you know, obviously, uh, you know, yeah. are active national cemeteries. I, I, I don't want to spend the time going over it right now. Okay. I, I think. All right, just uh, as long as. I'm, you know, will, I'm willing to do some of the work of, you know, what have a few other examples mm -hmm. been in the area, and, and how does this compare to what we're charging for the ground burials? And yeah, Bath Township's got half a dozen large columbariums behind them, mm -hmm. called Teresa or something. Or whatever. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, okay. okay cool. So I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. Sorry, I've not seen a columbarium. Is it at the traditional or the natural? It's at the traditional. Okay. Sorry, I should have said a lot earlier. If you happen to remember where there used to be a fairly large crusty old building, kind of as you came in and then made a made a corner, was, it's where the crusty old building used to be. Cool. Looks sort of like post boxes. It does. I did have to Google what a columbarium was. <laughs> and we also have to decide if we're charging more for one person or two in the in the niche. I mean, certainly we could just charge, let's say, five hundred dollars for the niche, and then a opening and closing. For each ash, huh? For each ash. For each ash. You put one in and had to open up oh, another one, and there would be a charge oh, yeah, for that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Also. But as I, but what I'm saying is, as opposed to, okay, if you want, if you want a single niche, which is the same size as what a double niche would be, is one six hundred and one seven hundred fifty or something like that. The double, or you just push Versus, stuff in. Mm -hmm. If they plan on doing two, you want to charge the 750 versus uh, somebody that's one. This is exactly the kind of conversation I think would be fitting when we have some information in front of us. Yeah, some of these numbers, but these are concepts that we have to, have yes. to keep in mind. Keep in mind. Okay. All right. Well, so I will. I will uh, both. Uh, I'll pump you and Dan. Uh, and Are have a, work, a worksheet for next meeting. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. Are you starting on it already? No. Oh, okay. we are, we're moving along. Okay. It's a door. It looks like a column bearing. <laughs> This is the Elk Grove Cemetery. This is just a section of it. This, this is a map? This is a map. Uh, this is where the, the trees are. Yeah, it's on the ends of, of these rectangles. This is where the trees will be planted. These will be 10 by 10 grave sites. Everywhere that there's a tree will be 10 by 10. In between the two trees will be graves, traditional graves, 4 by 10. Four foot by ten, and that goes out to forty feet. And I think it is forty feet. They're sixty feet apart. Take ten off of both sides, so that's forty. So there's ten grave sites, and it's like six hundred graves all together. Yeah, I'm all up. And they're numbered, obviously. So one hundred or it's like six hundred. Well, there's six hundred in the whole. Oh, thing. Okay. this is just that one section. Of yeah, this is just oh, yeah. one two. Okay, this is the whole four. thing. Okay, no, it's not the whole thing. So, again, we have to think about We're not going to do it tonight because we don't want to get in the weeds. We have to think about what we're going to charge for this. 
and we're going to have to think about what we're going to charge for this. And, just to make matters worse, are we going to make the trees, at the very least, only for township residents? Or, if not, are we going to make the trees one price for township residents and double the price for California residents? Because they got if, I, if I remember correctly, the person by the tree gets to be buried there by the Buried right by the tree. Under the tree. the tree. Under the tree. Yes. The person. And then, then the there's person. people between the trees. Pardon? And then there's people between the trees. This. Yeah. Yes. These are the people between the trees. Okay. And so you're saying um, that to be under the tree and by the tree is an ending spot. Oh yeah. Okay. And how many rows do you think there is? Are, there are seven rows. Of no. four trees. More than that. Oh, uh, the survey I have over here and I would Okay. Have we don't we don't have to talk about that. There's about 10 rows of seven, roughly, in the whole facility. So that's 70 trees. And then there are, between the 70 trees are the 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. That's why it makes a lot of, a lot of breaks. Okay, so we're on the same page. If you, if you buy a, a, a tree grave, you could buy it tomorrow if it was for sale, and then 10 years from now when you pass away. You, you, are, you are given a funeral at this location, right in the center, just like any other funeral, the four by 10 hole would be dug in. Down Marilyn goes, and then she gets covered over in dirt, and everybody cries, and they go home, and then they come back in a year, which gives the dirt time to settle. And once they come back in a year, then we will dig a tree hole and we will put a, oh. a, a, a white, a, a swamp white oak tree with about a two inch trunk on top of you. And you will grow that tree for the next 300 years. And it will say, here lies Marilyn Moyer. She gave her all to this beautiful white oak. Something. And you'll, yeah, and you'll be allowed to put a, a, a headstone, a, you know, a marker of your choice, well, maybe not your choice, but of your family's choice. Uh, in, in the, see, this is the road that comes up. This is the path that we just talked about with Dan about putting. And there will be no other extensions. I mean, this is just, it's going to be the way it is. That we'll, we'll get to it from here, over here. You're probably or go right down the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's, there's more on the other side, too. So anyway, you put a you put a headstone there for yourself, and in addition, you could put you your family would be allowed to put as many ashes in the ground in this ten foot square as they could fit, and they could put whatever markers they felt appropriate to mark the ashes in the ground. More than likely, we would say flat It'd be markers. Like one of those and they have a giant piece of granite for a whole family. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it came yeah. to that. Like, it would be family, family you know, area. Billy Bob, yeah. son, and Billy Bob, cousin. So there would only be, at most, one casket. No caskets. This is no caskets. These are only the ashes. ashes. No, it would be luck. Not live burials. It would be, <laughs> it would be naked traditional burials, but there is no casket. They can be buried up with a okay. shroud. With a, shroud. But shroud. a digging down. Natural burials. Because yeah. once those trees get growing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing much digging could whack a huge part of their roots. We're not doing any more digging at all in this 10 foot square. There'll be no more digging, period. Okay. And by the time. Graves on either side, more than likely, mm -hmm. get get sold and dug. The roots are not going to have grown to the extent that they're going to damage them ten feet away. No. 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 And the, the one well, it's ten, it's ten, it's ten foot square. It could be five feet away. Yes. Right. Yes. Good. 
when, when the family comes in and fills around, when they have their special status with, around the tree, um, are they ashes? Yes. Okay. Everything is ashes except, except for the, the one body underneath the tree. Wow. The ashes There's so many options. placed in the ground? Or yes, no, they're placed in the ground. To just dump their hole? Just like you put, just like, like you've been telling people you do now. Yes, you would you would charge the open and closing for ashes and, and have no those urn. at the ceremony. No no urn. I don't we didn't get to that part yet. Could be urns. It doesn't I mean whatever we're doing in natural barrel we Well they off. offer natural barrel caskets. Well we're not having caskets, but today so it's I'm strictly a shrouded area. Yes. But when we inter ashes in a natural burial, what are we interring into the ground? Is it just the ashes usually unless it's a wooden Container, okay. you know, but not, not not metal. Like for no, no, no metal. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I just want to make it sure. Could be bamboo. It could be, be seagrass, sea, whatever they're making about. No ceramic, though, or no, no, no. salt. Like we have. Sure. Woven. Sure. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. Okay. So we have to think about those things. Now that's going to be a little while before we do it, but but okay. And another thing. When we have decided these things, see, Laura wants to know this stuff. When we've decided all these things, we will open to the public the sale of the 70 tree locations. But that's it. None of the other burial spots will be for sale until the majority of the natural burials locations have been sold. There's 125 locations in the natural burial area, roughly 40 to 50 ish. Either it would be or pre-sold or... Oh, you're going to offer the main tree places. And the natural barrier. The main tree places you're offering, but not the ones in between. Them. Right. And but his concern about once... It would be better to get those... Are those going to be all ashes in between the trees? Or no, be, those will be bare. It, it's, it, it just seems... I, I don't know what time, time frame would be better to bury them before the trees' mighty oak roots spread together, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we want to commit a dead space, as it were, on your side of the tree. Right. Well, so I, so I assume just can't the, the number of trees, the 70, 70 trees you got for the area, mm -hmm. is based on how much room an oak tree needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And whatever's on top of the ground, that's what's underground. 60 feet up and 60 feet wide. And so. Well, Dan, you've, you've done crazy well, trees before. Well, if you have an established tree? tree that's been there 10 years, you're going to have roots out from it. I don't know about well, okay. full camp. All right, I'll, I'll you're assume that people who are still running into finger maybe not big roots. I'll buy a spot and die early. Um, I don't. But after, you know, but well, after, that's only one quarter of <clears throat> the plot, and it's even less than one quarter. You're not digging the full amount, and... But that's to be determined. Yeah. We, we need to get past Yeah, there's things to be looked at. Well, yeah. As get to the body, the, the ball of those trees are three foot wide, two foot deep. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come close to the body to be able to over an oak tree. Well, yeah, well. No. 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 <laughs> I mean, you won't, not be, you won't be more than likely, more than likely, we'll put the body a little bit deeper. That's my problem. Yeah. But again, well, but that's that's a normal work. Is, is there any other type of? Where's the closest one you know that's of this type of tree cap cemetery? I know of other. I know of no other. You made this up then. I did make it up. I was going to ask you. Was that a Merlot or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know it was bad. Um, I won't quote any of this. So um, it's it's on tape. The um, I was going to ask: Is it is it the is it the common practice to to plant all the same species, and would that cause any problems? But since there's no there's no precedent, we'll find out. We will in 300 years. Yeah, I mean, if the white the swamp oak borer came to be a thing, they we lose them all. But we'll make replace it. Okay. It's going to be a Tree yeah, road, one way or the other. And we'll never run out of customers. And when you go out there to look at it, 
we have planted a specimen tree right at the entrance, so you can see what a swamp white oak looks like. It looks like a regular white white oak, but it likes a little moister ground. Cool. Well, I will uh, work on a worksheet about columbarium prices. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other questions about the work we have ahead of us on the pricing and, and availability of the white oak? No? Okay. Do you know where you're getting trees from there? Yep. Seaton Dollar has them. The white oak tree place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open up one. Anything else for? Yeah, you could collect the acorn at the <laughs> Any Anything else for uh, cemeteries? <clears throat> Move to Rhodes, Mr. Rhodes. Okay. We'll be start our meeting this Friday. As you know, we'll be down there. And we'll have more information about yeah. the overlays. I'm confused. We had last meeting we reported on the work that was done, and I, I sort of assumed that meant all the work was done. But no, the, that was chip seal program. Right. But, so the uh, late. Layer of asphalt work is not it is on the overlay. That's the same. The overlay. Mm -hmm. okay. Were those prices similar to last year? Or did they look, those go up? Uh, it went up a little bit, but not, it's not a lot. Not the 25% that the newspapers have been saying some places have been paid. I think last year was 76, I think it's 80 this year, probably. I'll know Friday for sure. So. Because we're, we're Brian Parker and working the same place. Did they strike? No. After? No. Sorry, I let you spare there. What's up? I'm going to ask for that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ok
You're talking about trim, trimming back I branches. I just on the road. Yeah. It actually just, just to the fence line, the tree line. We've been talking about branches. So it looks pretty. Engineer and the board of trustees on the work that will be done for the for the paving. Um, is there a motion to enter into this agreement? This is the agreement where we're all coming together and we're kind of sharing the big yep. paving. Yep. Collective the paving. Collective say. paving. Yep. I, I say. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Um, and further discussion regarding this. Yeah, there's no price in there. Uh, We're going to agree to the price, which we do every year, Chris. I mean, we have a price. We have a price per quantity, and you could you could spend the time and, and go through the. I mean, I per square I'm foot. supporting this, but it's kind of weird. There's no price in it. Well, it's already the price for the material has already been determined with the collective on the amount of people that went into it. So I think it's around eighty a ton. I mean, it varies on our roads. I think. Probably a park can be around 70,000. I mean, I have to look on the paper. So I'll know that Friday. But it's already been set. Everything's set. It's not like they're just going to throw a number. Well, an, early, just an earlier comment, you said it only went up very slightly. Anyway, I've seconded it. Um, may we vote, please? Uh, Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Can I see that? After us, thank you. Have we been paying for for Clifton for 2021 for snow plowing and whatever road or whatever yeah, yeah. work we've done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see the bill. I didn't see the bill either. But I didn't. Yeah, bill in. Well, she, she got it to last. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, uh, I thought this was adopted at the previous meeting. June twenty seventh meeting. And we adopted one for the chip seal. We did not adopt one that's for the why I'm paving. Confused. This is the paving. They're separate. Yeah. Now that's okay. okay. So, so it's like. Resolution yeah, so for necessity, resolution. and now it's yeah, resolution the, the for proceeding. Yeah, in June 27th, there was a, that's when you adopted the chip seal. Correct. Yeah, okay, so that's why this is all scribbled out here? Yes. It's just an okay. agreement to go in. It's an agreement. Yeah, but they have a resolution number, so this is going to be resolution number. Uh, uh, no, it's not going to be resolution number, because we decided that we didn't want to take the time to write a resolution. If you want to write a resolution, that's fine. No, but I thought they there was a fine They want a separate resolution to, be, to accompany that agreement. So you don't, they don't want you to adopt this by resolution, even though it says by resolution number on here. They want it either by resolution or by motion. It oh. was done by resolution. There was an email from the okay, county whatever. engineer okay. spelling that if, if we do it by resolution, they want the separate resolution agreement or separate resolution paper to accompany that. So you don't need to give this to them? No, no, we do that. I think we do that. Yeah, we need to send it back to them. They have to sign it. But you scribble, but we scribble out the resolution part. Well, yeah, we're going to wipe that out. Okay. And then I will email it back to them tomorrow. Okay. I will scan it and send it back just like I did the chip seal. Oh, that's why. It, yeah, that yes. Yeah, no wonder I'm confused. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very similar. Very yes, very similar. similar. And one was resolution. One was but resolution. This one is. But we didn't know we were required to send them the resolution, and they didn't come back and say, "Where's the resolution?" So no. I'm not going to worry about it. <coughs> But it would be my luck that if we didn't do it by resolution, then Stephanie will say, we must have the resolution. Mm -hmm. It says so by resolution I'm wrong there. Okay. Okay, what? Goodness gracious. Well, let's move on to the zoning inspector. Well, let's move on to the fiscal object report. Well, I have a resolution. She is here. <laughs> <clears throat> What's that resolution number, Mark? <laughs> 2022-28, 20, and we're amending a permanent appropriation. 
whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees are authorized amending the following appropriation in the general fund to increase buildings by $15,000 so that we could pay for the roof of the Clifton Fire Station. I wish the fire chief was here. I'd certainly like to know how the progress is going on the joint ownership of the fire station, the Cedarville Township. And well, I looked at the roof and it's done. Well, I know it's done, but I, I, I need to know whether the building is actually being used or not yet. Okay. Can I ask a question about that building? Just yes, because I was trying to find something out about it. And I, mm -hmm. um, how long, who owns the building now? Bill Joe Clifton owns it. Okay. Um, when, but but the township owned it at some point. We right? leased it from them for a dollar gotcha. since 1938. Okay. For a hundred years. But 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 we as a township are <coughs> to have it. Yes, part of the lease was we would maintain it 100 percent okay. as long as we as long as we had control of it. And are we? What are we using it for? <laughs> at the present, nothing. Okay. And we haven't used it for anything. Of, of substance for, for many years. Yeah. That's but not entirely true. It's been, Sorry. It's, it's, it's been used for storage, for storage. As, a, as a physical part of it, as the training room, you know, do your okay. exercise and stuff. For our, for the NGF Right. Okay. That's all. Just. Uh, and there's been a little bit of publicity. <coughs> We're trying to uh, get funds to uh, use it for training in collaboration with Cedarville Township uh, and then possibly other townships on special occasions would be something. But training, not just physical training, but you know, breaking into a door or there would be a, there would be a, uh, a bedroom. What's, what do you do when you, you're coming into a house and it's possible someone has passed out and there's a body in a bedroom. How do you quickly check? I mean, that sounds silly, but if you go through the motions of doing it, where do you look? How do you do it? Uh, it makes a difference. So roof is kind of first step for that? Sorry. The, the roof has been redone. It's a flat roof. But it's, it's already redone. Okay. It was leaking. It, it was an obligation of the township because it was we have not, we had considered giving the building back to the village of Clifton and breaking the lease after we built this because we, need, we didn't need it any longer and it was a financial drain mm -hmm. uh, on, a, on a department that has no money uh, to spend for s other things that they really need. And I don't mean to be a spoil sport, but, and I don't want to sound like the old man with River here, but don't. in the um, don't do it. Uh, in the 27 years that I've been here, that building has been uh, earmarked to be used for training multiple times, more than a few. And the amount of training that had, the amount of training days that has happened in that building over those many years probably uh, this hand more than likely. So. <coughs> I was really, I was curious just because I, it had been brought up at the last meeting when mm -hmm. I heard the recording briefly and I wanted to know a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very well. well when I toured it, yeah. no, with the Cedarville, it's a dollar period. When I toured it with the, the Cedarville chief and with our chief, they were enthusiastic, giving me a spiel, uh, and I take it at face value. I don't have the perspective you do of it. This, this has been talked about before. So have we talked before about sharing it with Cedarville? Well, I appreciate their enthusiasm, and their enthusiasm is based on someone else paying for it, which right. is the county commissioners. We, they're, they're, we're approaching the county commissioners, that's right. And county commissioners are being approached probably 50 times a day from many places within the county for funds. So we'll just have to see. See what happens. Who's got, who's got the hand out the highest or the first or something. I but, need a motion to it. But that's been, go, that's been going on for six or eight months or Wait, more now. We, yeah, okay, so we're back to 
You say we haven't had the resolution on adopting the. We have not adopted. There's not been. A, there's not been a, anybody has moved to adopt it. We've tangented. We've okay. gone off the rails. Well, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just. I moved I mean, I the adoption of resolution. Thank you. 2022-28 mm -hmm. for uh, amendment of permanent appropriation. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding this resolution? Or you know, may we vote, please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Ms. Mutcher? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, a, a question came up a moment ago. Do you recall if, if Clifton has paid us for their 2021 services? Um, I, I don't recall. I'd have to look it up. It's been, we're in you know, July now. Yeah, they very well could have. I, don't, I can find out. Could you check for us? Just absolutely. For you know, for fun. Know, for for definitely for fun. To so clarify, yeah. for for the paper, you're referring to winter snow plowing. You're referring to street repair. I am Andy. Mm -hmm. Any all that? Mm -hmm. For the year of 2021. Yes, I will check it out. Thank you. <clears throat> and that's billed by the hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Ms. Fiscal Officer, has there been any movement on the public records request that's been made? Um, what public records request? Well, the one the village solicitor, the one we got the email about, asked about 10 days ago. I, for information about, what was it? <clears throat> How much we have paid in attorney fees for the King Wood Solar? Oh, so oh, I didn't think that was my department for some reason. <clears throat> there was some sort of conversation amongst you guys that why is this happening and who's doing it, that kind of stuff. So, no, I haven't done anything about well, it. Well, it is of <clears throat> note that uh, I mean, the village, I certainly village is looking for a new solicitor. Well, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a financial it's still, request. It's, it's still not, a okay, statement well, I, request. I, I, I just, it's not off the minutes. So. Huh? Yeah, I can do it. I just, like I said, I, I saw the requests and people were like, well, why is this happening? Who's, why, you know, there was a lot of question on what's, what's going on, but I didn't realize it was directed at me to do it. I'm still trying to catch it's, up, too. You no, know, it's possible that they're dropping that all. Well, but I mean, it's not hard right to do. Now. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, and who... This is this is the attorney the uh, attorney yeah. for the village. Yeah, the right? Springs solicitor, the previous solicitor. Are you? Well, well, she may still be the solicitor. Okay, Parcells. yeah, well, that's Parcells. Yeah, and she's still working. They're just uh, she's not contracted. They're shopping. Yeah. So it's Mr. Sloan we're not talking about what we paid him, right? No. Yes. How yeah. much what we paid him? Yes. Yeah. Twenty-one thousand. But any new business this evening? Yes. I have one yeah. piece of new business that I just want to bring up because mm -hmm. I've had it on my little list forever, and uh, we don't get to it. We never will, or we will find it. Um, it's come to my attention that uh, some members of the public feel that the north side of this building is a bit on the um, not so attractive side. It has huge. It has huge louvers that dominate the whole side of the building. I mean, it's not the whole side, but it dominate the view of the side of the building. And they have gutters that come down right next to the louvers, which don't help either. And then there's basically nothing between the public and, and the louvers. It has been suggested, and I've taken the suggested suggestion to heart and actually have moved the suggested out a little bit further, that we plant um, flowering dogwood trees on either side of the loops, give them a chance to grow and be pretty and take our eyes off of those loops. Not too far out, not too far in, but enough to be visual. And in addition to that, we basically owe, we owe one dedication, tree dedication for Lamar Spraffin. It was promised to him and when he retired, as you recall, for the first or the second time, I don't know, one of the two times mm -hmm. that he retired, we said we'd plant a tree in, in, his, in 
this thing. And I thought as long as we were planting a tree for Lamar, and it's a dogwood, and it's on one side of the louvers where there's going to be another one on the other side of the tree, well, let's kill two birds with one stone and make the other one a decade tree for Mark Crockett. I like that. Works for me. We have, a, mind, we have one like. We have another like. I like a dogwood. I'm not a landscape architect, but if you say dogwood's going to work and then that would do the job, I believe you. Okay. Is there a motion for such a move? A project? That's not really a project. It's just a little Who went? You said first. Who was tied? I move that we plant two dogwood trees to both avert people's eyes from the unsightly gutters and louvers and at the same time dedicate one to Lamar Spreckland and the other to our beloved trustee who passed away recently, Mark Crockett. I'll second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that? Motion. Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Meacher. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gosh, you're so... I'll have to say it first. Uh, yes. Mr. Alistair. Yes. Ms. Moyer. I just yes. got to mix it up. <laughs> Um, thank you very much. Any other new business before us this evening? <coughs> Hearing none, is there any old business that anyone would like to bring up? Tick, 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 tick. Too late. Uh, I have now entertained a motion to adjourn. Um, resolution to proceed with. Oh, oh excuse me. Well, yeah, we do. Where's your, your own business? business? Oh, okay. Where's your own business? Where's your business? Oh, I, I, I think of that as business. And, okay, I've got to get my head around that. Uh, yeah, let's not adjourn yet. Okay, yeah. we're, we're, we're not adjourned. This is, this is kind of old business because this is half of the last okay. business. This so. is the next step in marching toward levying the fall. And we've been, we've been certified by, uh, our necessity has been certified by the auditor, and now we, we have to give us ourselves a resolution to proceed of the taxing authority, which I guess we're that. And you want to tell the room what the procedure, what we are proceeding with? Where are we going with this? Um, we're announcing that we're proceeding with the levy. Yeah, but this is going to the this is going to the board of elections. Yeah, then we'll take both both. I didn't know the public didn't know that. We'll we'll take both resolutions to the board of elections for their approval and for mm -hmm. this secretary of state's approval. And, and and for the approval of the language of the ballot language. Yeah. And then only after both of those entities approve that before the August 8th, 7th deadline, whatever it is, 9th deadline, uh, then we will be certified to be on the ballot right. November 8th. Do you want to assign a, a resolution number to this, or is it just the <coughs> word? Is? Um, no, a resolution number for sure. Okay, then it'll be 29. Um, I have the place where it belongs. It's at the bottom. Look on the back page. <coughs> Okay, um, resolution number 2022-29? Yep. We just did 28, so. Got it. My bird's sitting. This is a financial clerk. It's everything. That's a financial fiscal officer, I'm uh, sorry. It, it said two different names on here. Um, do we need to read it? Nah. It's the same. Okay. Isn't it roughly okay. the same as the. It's, it's just um, we had to certify the need we had with the with the state auditor, and now now that he's given us the okay, we need to we would like resolve to proceed. To proceed. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Do we have to name the okay the rate and the origin and that thing? Yeah. All right. You're going to move? move? Are you making the motion? Um, yeah, we don't announce what the millage or anything is because you guys discussed it last week. Is that what you Oh, said? yeah, that's right. We did. That's okay. right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I know you did. Okay. So, we have a motion. We do. A uh, second. From Marilyn. Don said you. Yeah. And we have a second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? And then may we vote, please. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes, I think Mr. Robertson, his rules of order are spinning in his grave as we speak. Because why? 
Because it's so hot in here, we aren't thinking correctly. Well, it's Why would I do that? Not you. Uh, so we should give a Makes copy of that to the newspaper. Don Hollister seconded. Yep. He did indeed. Are we calling the roll? We, we, we only did that. Yeah. No, I missed it. No. You, you said yes. You said yes. <laughs> you did. I now entertain a motion to adjourn. If there's no further business, come before us this evening. Aye. Did you say yeah? You, you I guess that was a yes. So we are adjourned by acclamation.